Sahabat Ekumene, jumpa kembali dalam program Kristen dalam Berita. Saya Kori Ririhena. Sahabat Ekumene masih melanjutkan laporan tematik plenari 4 Sidang Raya Dewan Gereja-Gereja Sedunia WCC. Referen Dr. Harit Huta Barat Lebang, delegasi dari Gereja Toraja menjadi bagian dari diskusi tematik plenari yang berlangsung tanggal 5 September 2022. Tematik plenari tersebut berfokus pada isu yang berkaitan dengan martabat manusia dan keadilan melalui lensa gender, disabilitas, ras, dan kaum muda. Mematahkan hambatan, menuntut perubahan, menjadi berbeda. Seruan lantang kepada sidang WCC ke-11. Pada diskusi tersebut, Adele Helide mewakili United Church of Canada dan moderator dari WCC Advisory Group untuk mengatasi rasisme, diskriminasi, dan xenofobia mengatakan. Banyak dari gereja kami terlibat dan mengadu Helide menentang gereja untuk secara otentik dan setia. Bergumul dengan dampak trauma antar generasi sekolah asrama, bekerja dengan komunitas yang mencari pemulihan pasca sindrom budak pasca trauma, Menghadapi gereja yang mengambil keuntungan dari perbudakan dan berkarya demi martabat semua orang. Reverend Dora Arce Valentin, delegasi dari General Sekretari dari Reform Presbyterian Church di Kuba mengatakan, Tantangannya adalah melanjutkan perjuangan demi keadilan dan dengan berani mendobrak tempat-tempat yang nyaman lalu menuntut pemulihan bagi para korban. Maria Montrarki, delegasi dari Orthodox Church of Finland dan anggota Komisi Kaum Muda WCC dalam gerakan ekumenis mengatakan, kita semua, para pemimpin gereja dan sesama manusia dapat dan mampu mengubah struktur. Ini adalah tugas kita bersama dan kita harus mematahkan rintangan dan hambatan. Samson Wawerun Joki, advisor to the assembly dari Greek Orthodox Patriarchate, of Alexandria and all Africa di Kenya, meminta agar gereja-gereja dan semua orang Kristen turut menangani struktur yang mengabaikan dan mendiskriminasi penyandang disabilitas. Kita dapat menyelaraskan hati kita. Demikian katanya. Samson Waweron Joki pun melanjutkan, kita membutuhkan cara yang lebih praktis berelasi dalam konteks disabilitas. Ia mengatakan, Saya mengundang Anda untuk bersama memikirkan tentang hal-hal yang dapat kita lakukan sebagai gereja, gerakan ekumenis agar mewujudkan WCC lebih inklusif. Pleno ditutup dengan menanyakan apakah transformasi dan rekonsiliasi benar-benar dapat dilakukan? Helide mengatakan, Saya percaya itu mungkin. Rekonsiliasi sejati membutuhkan waktu dan menuntut perubahan. Kita sebagai gereja tidak hanya berbicara tentang menjadi berbeda, kita memang harus menjadi berbeda.
strange has happened in Tyre and Sidon. Good job. A Canaanite woman has accosted a Jewish faith healer. And look over here. These couple are jubilantly wheelchair dancing. Can you tell me what's going on? Why were you dancing? We are celebrating hope and human dignity as the little girl has been miraculously healed. Peter can tell you more about that. Peter, who's Peter? Where's Peter? Peter. We had a long journey and we were just resting. Then that woman came and she started shouting at us. She would not stop. Woman, woman. My woman. name is Justa. Sorry, Justa. Why were you shouting? I only wanted to get the master's attention. My daughter was desperately ill. She was dying and needed help. But he told me he didn't come for people like me. I couldn't believe it. He said, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. What? He called you a dog? What did you do? I am not a dog. I am a child of God just like him. Moreover, they say he's the Messiah. So he should be the Messiah. I could not let such a sexist, ethnocentric response be the last word. My daughter, my daughter was dying. She needed help. So I told him that I would not accept his word. And that was basically what he did. So you know what I did? What? I went further. I stood there and I challenged him. I thought for a moment that there was something significant in what I was doing. I saw a light come on in his eyes and he nodded slowly and I knew I'd said something important. Hmm. So I kept on talking because I realized that what I was saying would have impact for women everywhere and those who feel like outsiders like me for generations to come. <laughs> he stopped. He remembered. And he said to me, you know what? Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. Almost immediately. Oh. I, I, my daughter was right in front of me. And Mommy! I, look, look, she's so full of life. <laughs> Little girl, what's your name? Can you tell us what's happening? I can't believe it! My fever is gone! All thanks to my courageous mom! Oh, sorry! My name is Berenice. A few weeks ago, I was so ill. Soon, I couldn't even get out of bed. I was so sure that I was going to die. Then suddenly the fever left, as if by magic. So I jumped out of bed and ran to tell my mom all about it. Because she had left one last time to try to get help for me. I hear that she argued with a great faith healer and his followers. Then that same man spoke healing over me. I am so grateful that she didn't give in. So grateful that she challenged the attitudes that deprived me, a young girl, of access to healing and much needed help. So grateful that because of her faith and her courage, he changed his mind and now I, I am healed. <laughs> Demikian Kristen dalam berita kali ini, saya Kori Rihena, sampai jumpa.